So you want to get top dollars for your home. Let me share with you some ways that you can benefit yourself and make sure you make the most amount of money. So let me share with you some ideas on what does it take to actually maximize the amount of money you can get on the sale of your home. Number one, curve appeal. There's a lot of people that are underestimating the fact that you have to really spend time and effort on making sure that your home from the outside looks as beautiful as from the inside. And let me tell you why. As soon as the potential buyer drives to the driveway and they are looking for the first 10 seconds, they are observing, they are looking at the, the curve appeal, their plants, the driveway, the extension you have created. These are the kind of things that will really make the first impression. Remember, when we are meeting professionals, the first impression counts, the same goes with real estate. So make sure you spend time and effort, just as much as you spend time and effort at your home, but also doing the best you can for the curve appeal of your home. Let's talk about cleaning the home inside. The easiest way to generate extra money for your sale of your home is painting it. And I always recommend my clients to spend anywhere between two to $4,000, depending on the square footage of the home, to just make sure that they paint the home before you go on the market. It seems an easy one, but a lot of people are actually don't do that. And when it comes to selling of their home, they understand then that they have missed out and left money on the table. So remember this, by spending two to $4,000 into painting your home, you will bring an extra value of anywhere between twenty dollars to $30,000. I mean, to me, it's not rocket science. You spend the $2,000, make $20,000, are you painting your home? Comment below. Another point that I really want to stress out because a lot of people underestimate this one. Throw away your garbage. I know it, it seems like, you know, it's, yes, it's my belongings, it's my past, but remember, when you're selling your home, nobody really cares about those black bags in your garage. Make sure you throw it out completely. Make sure that your home is as clean as possible. And yes, sometimes you will have to remove your personal pictures from your home because the new buyer that's coming in, they wanna feel home. They don't want to feel that there is another home living, there is another family living in the home right now. So make sure you take the time, usually, and I recommend always, to take at least one week before going in the market, making sure that you clean it up completely, meaning you get rid of winter coats, you clean it up, you just tie it up. And if you need extra storage, make sure you put everything into the garage. Or if you don't have a garage, there are a few companies that will bring you a bin, an extra external bin, okay? You load up the bin, they take it out from the promises, okay? And then your home looks like it's staged. Even though you have not spent money to stage it, but you're keeping it super clean. This will allow the new buyer to come in and walk in and feel home. That external feeling, this is the feeling that, wow, this could be my home. That's what you're going to attract as many buyers as possible. So make sure you do it when you're listing your home. Another point that I really want to mention, because people are underestimating all the time, make sure your fridge is clean. And why? Buyers are always opening the fridge. They're curious to know what's inside the fridge. So if you have some leftover food from a few days ago, make sure you throw it out and keep the fridge clean. I know a lot of people will not think about it as something that needs to be done, but I promise you, because I do work a lot of with buyers as well, the first thing they do when they walk into the kitchen, they want to have a feeling of their family living in this house and cooking in this kitchen. They will open the fridge. So do me a favor, clean it up. Make sure you have fresh, produce, fresh products inside your fridge and any leftover food is dumped to the garbage. If you have any questions, comment below. Let me know if there is anything I can do for you. Have an amazing day.